Hey everybody, Linus here. Today we're diving into the world of Linux distributions with a controversial newcomer, Ubuntu. This distro has been making waves and today we're going to break down why. Imagine a Linux system that looks and feels surprisingly like Windows. That's Ubuntu in a nutshell. It's designed to be user-friendly, especially for those making the switch from Windows. Ubuntu has sparked a ton of debate in the tech community. Some love the idea of a more familiar Linux experience for newcomers, others worry it's straying too far from Linux traditions. So is Ubuntu a bridge between operating systems or just a weird imitation? Let's find out. First, let's clear the air. Ubuntu is built on Linux, meaning it's open source and highly customizable just like other Linux distros. But here's the twist. Its design borrows heavily from Windows. Think Start Menu, Taskbar, Window Management, it's all very Windows-esque. This is a big departure from traditional Linux distributions, known for their variety and customizability. From the minimalist beauty of GNOME to the highly configurable KDE, Linux users often enjoy a unique look and feel. Ubuntu, on the other hand, aims for familiarity over flexibility, at least visually. So what's under the hood of this controversial distro? Ubuntu comes packed with software aimed at easing the transition for Windows users. Think pre-installed Office suites compatible with Microsoft Office, familiar media players, and even a version of Wine for running Windows applications. The user interface is designed to be intuitive for Windows users, with minimal learning curve. But don't be fooled. Beneath the surface it's still Linux, powerful, customizable, and ready for anything you throw at it. This blend of familiarity and power is what makes Ubuntu so intriguing. Unsurprisingly, Ubuntu has received mixed reactions. Some applaud its potential to make Linux more accessible. Newcomers often find traditional Linux distributions overwhelming, and Ubuntu could be the perfect gateway. However, others criticize it for being a mere imitation, sacrificing the core Linux philosophy of choice and customization. The debate rages on, with passionate arguments on both sides. One thing's for sure, Ubuntu has got people talking about Linux, and that's never a bad thing.